an investigation fully documented. Adam Ogaraba speaks on being university dropout. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Adam Ogaraba, an old progressive Congress APC chieftain, has spoken out about his expulsion from Kano State University of Technology in Woodhill, Kano State. In defending his academic credentials after being called out on Twitter Monday, the Damar born entrepreneur admitted to being expelled from university but has gone to become has gone on to become a successful founder of a multi million naira empire. The All Progressive Congress boss has also compared his success to such icons as Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Replying to a 99 of Press, who tweeted, I just found out that Adamo Garaba is not a university, university graduate. He was a sport from Kano State University of Technology, with you, Kano State, when he was put on that level. Go and verify or let Adamo Garaba deny this. Adam, Gar, Adamo Garaba said, what is still news? My university investigation story is well known all over and fully documented in all my public profiles. Even my memoir, my story is like one like those of Job's and Gates. Adamo then went on to know that he wrote about his investigation in his memoir set to be coming up in June. You must always find something out, no matter how still, for engagement. Usual obedient styles. If you read my memoir coming up in this June, you'll stop wasting your time here and be more focused in your life to produce something more meaningful for your future. You kept missing it. I've never worked for the government. I built my business myself. I started at 26. I'm now, I am 40. <laughs> now, something is making me to laugh. Now, let me just, let me read this. I'm not supporting what this person is saying, no. but listen. Wow. This is the simple reason almost all your pussies characterized with grammatical errors. Such feeble minds with little intellectual capacity is found in APC. In a like problem. Uh-uh. In a like problem. Now, the thing is, he don't come as I can't talk, say, he no go school finish. But to me, no be no be school, no be your, no be everybody will go school, say, for this life, go make him. No be everybody will even go school for this life, no English. Hmm? The thing is, according to him, he said he has his business. He said, congratulations to him. I have said it before, and I will still say it again. Coming out to attack somebody based on this election should be a thing of the past. Uh, let us let us learn to let go. I'm talking to everybody, all Nigerians. The election went your way, congratulations. The election did not go your way, please prepare your mind for anything. Your case is on court, prepare your mind for anything so that you are not going to keep hurting. I know why I'm saying this all. I'm really speechless, restricted, not just a dropout or suspended from university. You see, our problem is deep rooted. How can one without adequate education see the need of education? Success to such a person is measured by how much one has. Hmm. He must be he must have been a criminal, yet he wants to be a president only in Nigeria. Well, to me, oh, I feel the credentials for becoming a president in Nigeria, we have to step it up. And it will only happen when we put somebody who is actually genuinely wanting to come in and change things for the better. Because I don't understand how to become a junior level staff or a senior level staff. You have to have some certain qualification. But when you want to come out or come in and or hustle for the position of the presidency, all you need is your like primary school or YX certificate. To me, it's not fair. And you were one of the people that uses fanaticism to drive politics. No wonder you're always fighting to be relevant. I do not have anything against you. I don't just like garrulous people. Okay, it's a dropout. These guys are all questionable. No wonder they drag the country from top to bottom. You cannot give what you do not have. We really need almighty God intervention to deliver us from these guys. Okay, no wonder this guy talks nonsense. Like someone whose dexterity is from in now. Come on now. This is actually too brutal. From today, I will never ever respond to whatever he says. Dropout is better. But suspended, sacked, and roasted out of the school world is the worst. Meaning no university can never take him. Only God knows what he did and he's here talking rubbish and insulting people. Comparing yourself to that of Big and Steve Jobs is the height of it. Sincerely, they said he's not even a dropout. A dropout says you could not make it. And no one, you understand, at that time, you couldn't go to school. But resticated. What in any way, sure, that is not even the bone of contention. Your proud of voice. If rustication is a clear indication of your stupidity during the university days, as a rusticated, oh my goodness, 
as a rusticated animal you are, that you are, you have the guts, effrontery, and temerity to declare your stupid interest to contest Nigerian president. Though I don't blame you, President Buhari is really not without your ex certificate. Anything can happen in Nigeria. That is what PW wants to stop, and the likes of you are fighting him. Imagine a country where a drug dealer turned based president. Tated image. You don't do a big. We cannot stop all this firing of shots. Hmm? Okay. Why I said it is difficult to answer Adamo and still reason well has been confirmed by this mounted dropout. You and Bola made Tunumbu are the same. No wonder you don't think well at all. Haba. The case is partially like Tunumbu. That's claimed to have graduated from Chicago University after detailed investigation. Wouldn't you just discover that he never entered the said school? Okay. Oh. You became successful with our commonwealth. You listed and you are even so shameless to brag about being successful and comparing your useless... Oh my goodness. You compare yourself with the likes of your gates. Even a good talker will do better than you if given the chance you have. Make gonna stop all this noise. You know go do anybody. You know go do anybody well. So you know you have been rusticated from school for being an accused person. Then what gods have you challenging those who are reasonable and have smooth educational background? You've been set up your business or whatever you call it. It doesn't make it clear that you're not a criminal. So stop comparing yourself with those who their success was built on a platter of gold. We are clean, handwork, not a crook ways, not a crook, not a crook ways. A criminal is always a criminal. Well, like I'm saying, like I said, I don't want to dig deep. Digging deep of being me asking questions of what did he do? How did he become rusticated? Why is it that he cannot, you know, come outside to contest? I mean, why is it that he? He cannot even go back to school because frustrated means hey, Lilo Padao. You know, drop out, you cannot always go back. But frustrated, huh? You cannot go back, my brother. Okay, I've said it before APC means accomplished professional criminals of Nigeria. A gang of terrorists who have taken over the country like the Taliban of Afghanistan. Truly, Nigerians do not know what they're up against with this terrible so called election victory. Example of no integrity, foster character, problem, and evil mind. No wonder he keeps on defending drug presidents select because they share the same narcotic business. Are you granted about being persecuted? No wonder you have the mark of, oh my goodness. Maybe we should stop this soon. We're going to leave Adamo Garba alone. Adamo Garba is always sounding controversial. Always. Hmm? At the end of the day, Nabeta Nigeria will define.